will see program 3 of unit 1. Open Visual Studio. Create new web application as we done in previous programs. Now as per program. Design a class file with two methods as sum and subtraction which takes two arguments. Design a web page to take two integer numbers from the user. When user clicks on sum or subtraction button, display the result of two entered values in the label control placed on the web page. Use of app code and bin directory. First we create one web form. To see the use of app code folder. Create new web form. Go the solution explorer. Right click on root. Then select add new item. Select visual C sharp as language and type as web form. You can change the name of the site as I am changing here as U1P31 then click on add. Go the design section. Use two labels, two text boxes, two buttons. And one label to display answer. Right click on root within solution explorer. Click on add asp.net folder. Select app code. Right click on app code folder and select add new item. Select class, name it as class1.cs and click on add. Define the methods for sum and subtraction which returns addition and subtraction of two values in the class1.cs. Save it. Go to the build menu bar and click on build solution. If your code is successfully compiled without any error then you will get message in output as Go to the u1p31.aspx.cs file Write following code inside button 1 click event For storing text box values inside two variables and define class object as o1 then use text of label to print sum of two values using sum method of class 1 same as for subtraction write same code inside button 2 click event. This time instead of sum, write sub. Now you can check the output as after adding two values and clicking on buttons it returns addition and subtraction. Now as per question we will do same thing again but this time using bin directory so for. That create new web form as u1p32.aspx. And again, again make same design as you made in u1p31.aspx file. Go to file menu click on new select project. Then select visual C sharp as language, class library as type of project and name it as calc.cs. Write following code inside calc.cs for addition and subtraction. Go to build menu select build solution. If your code is successfully compiled without any error then you will get message in output as. Now add reference of calc.cs to u1p32.aspx.cs. Go to the u1p3 website. Right click on root. Click on add asp.net folder and select bin. Right click on newly created bin folder and select add reference. Browse the location where you saved calc.cs file. Select its calc.dll file. For example here as. Now go to u1p32.aspx.cs file. Add header file as using cal. Write following code between both buttons click event. For storing text box values inside two variables and define class object as o1 and use text of label to print sum of two values using some method of class 1. Now you can check the output. Again after adding values it shows addition and subtraction of two values. 